Hey folks, greetings from Foxtrap on the island of Newfoundland. After building the rubber band gun, you may have seen in a previous video, I decided to build a case for it. Some scraps of some pine, some fur I had around. Just cut a little grooves in it, uh, like so, on the uh, table saw. And uh, for the top, and this one for the, uh, for the box itself. You see a little groove to just, uh, this was a test strip, a uh, test for depth and so on, but uh, it was just simple, just make a cut in there, and then you can insert a little piece of a mahogany uh, veneer paneling. It's only about an eighth of an inch uh, thickness, but uh, just uh, put that in there, a little panel goes into the groove. With some uh, leftover trimmings and, and scraps, most of it actually. That was uh, just something I hung on to in, in case I, I wanted to build something out of it. So uh, it's been around for a while. You can tell it's probably discolored a little bit. But anyway, that just uh, adds to it. So I built a little case uh, for the rubber band gun, and uh, hopefully it'll uh, help it uh, last a while. Got a handle here made out of uh, limb trimmings, branch from a, from a tree, and joined together, and uh, that's the carrying handle. Um, some pine, uh, some fir, and of course the uh, once again the mahogany veneer, and uh, some hardware. Now this hardware here, the closure. And there's hinges as well. They're the only uh, metal parts in the box. Everything else is doweled and glued together. And the same with the gun. The only metal part in the in the gun is the, the spring in the clothespin. <laughs> Everything else is is all uh, made out of wood. This is a piece of red oak once again. Beautiful, uh, nice grain in, in the wood. Uh, the box is made out of strips. Uh, Hinges were salvaged for, from an old box and the hasp as well. Once again, the branch. Uh, these inserts were uh, cut out from styrofoam actually and, and shaped and uh, covered with felt and then uh, glued inside the box so it uh, keeps the, the gun intact. It's that to that shape, you know. You can see here it, uh, all along its ship. And right here, there's a compartment and uh, a little support here that you can put in and keep your cover up that way. And a little bit of ammunition there, there's some more here as well. And, uh, ammunition for this is readily available most anywhere. And you string it on. It's uh, actually, uh, in one way, you consider it a muzzle loader because you got to start at the muzzle to load it. You got a little groove cut here, so your rubber band just fits in. You go back and you load it into your clothespin, like so, and you pull the trigger, and it shoots the rubber band. Anyway, my grandson hasn't seen it yet. He's coming up in a couple of days, and uh, this is the the presentation. <laughs> Anyway, I thought I'd uh, share this. Uh, something you can do if if you do build a, a, a gun as a gift for for uh, somebody. It'd be nice to build a little case to put it in, and uh, it, uh, it belongs there. It's made just to fit, and made out of simple material, uh, wood, some styrofoam, some felt. Uh, the felt was uh, bought locally, uh, relatively inexpensive. Everything else was pretty much uh, on hand. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I think it really adds a, a finishing touch to the little project. Thanks for watching again, guys, and uh, take care. Bye-bye.